This is a two horsepower single phase Brook Motors electric motor made in England. I picked it up at the scrapyard a couple of days ago. They reckon it's supposed to work but I haven't been able to get it to actually start. I've wired up to the usual terminals and all I get is a very angry sounding hum. I've torn it all apart. I'm going to just strip it down and make sure the windings are alright. Give everything a thorough test. The old bearings have pretty much had it. A lot of black dust and crap. Almost like it's come out of a foundry or something. It's not a repulsion induction motor or repulsion start induction motor. It does have a centrifugal switch. And a capacitor. I'm beginning to think the start capacitor is bad on this one. The initial tests I've done across the contact indicate that it's uh, the windings aren't too bad, but I believe the start capacitor or something's gone bad. This is the two horsepower single phase Brook motor. It's getting ready to go back together again. The winding's checked out okay, so I believe it's just a bad start capacitor that was stopping this from running before. bearings aren't as bad as I thought so I'll just re-grease them and reuse them. The bearing housings and the triple switch all cleaned up. old start capacitors blown out at the top didn't test up too good so I'll replace that one it's 125 microfarad and here we are most, assembled most of the motor at the moment still need to put the housing on the centrifugal switch I've replaced the Stud start capacitor with one from the old Danfoss stuff, the one, the 125 mic that was featured in my starting devices video. Well, this isn't the first time I powered it up, but here goes. <coughs> Much better. No more angry buzzing noise. Centrifugal switch seems to put a bit of current back through the motor windings when it re-engages on stopping. I'm guessing that's a sort of motor brake effect. You can audibly hear it slow down as soon as that switch clicks back in. Still not a bad find for 25 bucks. Now all I've got to do is finish cleaning up the start capacitor housing, install this new capacitor in it, reassemble the terminal box and centrifugal switch housing, and whack a coat of paint on it. It should be ready to run on any of my machines. One thing I've noticed about these, this particular motor, unlike any other single phase motor I have, it does not vibrate or at least the vibration is very minimal. And this is an Australian 20 cent piece balancing on top of the housing. It's not glued there, magnetically held there, or fixed there in any way. Still standing. Only de-energizing did it. But there's the proof. 
this is the capacitor housing and centrifugal switch housing for the Brook electric motor straight out of the electrolysis system this uh, plastic like film on the inside is actually the paint from the inside of this housing all it needs is a rub down with Scotch Bright and a dry in the oven and she'll be right likewise with this one Electrolysis generally needs line of sight to clean things, although it seems to have penetrated the inside of this container pretty well. Some areas not so well, but the, elect the sacrificial anodes in this tank are getting pretty shabby, as is the wiring probably, so it's about time to tear it all apart and put new anodes in, new wiring. <laughs> 